The figure below shows an empty rectangular tank measuring 55 by 20 by 30 centimeters. At 2 p.m., tap X was turned on to fill the tank with water, flowing at a rate of 4.2 liters per minute. After 5 minutes, tap Y was then turned on to drain the water from the tank. So which means to say that tap Y was turned on at 2.05 p.m. At 2.15 p.m., the tank was half filled with water. So this is the volume of the water at 2.15 p.m. And water has been flowing into the tank from tap X from 2 p.m. to 2.15 p.m. A good 15 minutes. So to find out how much water has gone into the tank from tap X, in that 15 minutes, we can take 4.2 times 15 minutes to know that 63 liters of water has flowed in from tap X into the tank. Next, we can also find out the amount of water in the tank at 2.15 p.m. Because it's half filled, we're going to take half times length, times breadth, times height. And we will get 16,500 cubic centimeters of water. Change that to liters, we will get 16.5 liters. 63 minus 16.5 we will get 46.5 so 46.5 liters of water has been drained off by tap Y so for part A they want to find the rate of flow of water from tap Y we can take 46.5 divide by 10 because tap Y was only turned on for 10 minutes from 2.05 p.m. to 2.15 p.m. so the answer for part A is 4.65 liters as for part B, what fraction of the tank was filled with water at 2.30 p.m.? Based on the answer in part A, we know that 4.65 liters of water will flow out from tap Y per minute, but 4.2 liters of water will flow into the tank from tap X. So overall, with every passing minute after 2.15 p.m., 0.45 liters of water will be drained off from the tank because more water is being drained off than going into the tank and from 2.15 p.m. to 2.30 p.m. there's a duration of 15 minutes so when we take 15 times 0.45 we get 6.75 liters which means to say that from 2.15 p.m. to 2.30 p.m., 6.75 liters of water will be drained off from the tank. At 2.15 p.m., the amount of water in the tank was 16.5 liters. It was half filled with water, remember? And because 6.75 liters of water is going to be drained off from 2.15 to 2.30, at 2.30, this is the amount of water that is left in the tank. 9.75 liters we can find the capacity of the tank by taking 16.5 which is actually half the capacity of the tank times 2 to get 33 so 33 liters is the capacity of the tank now we are able to answer part b at 2 30 pm there was 9.75 liters of water in the tank out of 33 liters which is what the tank can hold and if you were to key in this fraction in your calculator you will get 13 over 44 which is the answer for part B